Hello and welcome to It Just Works. My name is Virtual Paradise, or you can just call me VP. Today we're going to be looking at the RTX 2060 Super and how it stands up to mining Ethereum in 2022, which will also translate to the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic, and ETC might turn out to be one of the more profitable coins to mine after Ethereum merges to proof of stake. So let's get into the video. So the 2060 Super is still not a very old card, it only came out in 2019 and is still a very good card for mining. We'll head into my mining room now to check out my 2060 Super rig and how it performs. So this is my 2060 Super rig. So I've got six of some of my most efficient uh, 2060 Supers. It's mainly because I have a 850 watt power supply on that rig. And the whole rig in the software is pulling just under 600 watts. So I probably want to upgrade that power supply at some point or just take a card off it just to stick within the highest efficiency curve of that power supply. And as you can see, I've got one funky 2060 Super that usually bobbles just over 40 mega hash and drops down to just below 40 mega hash. But most of the 2060 Supers end up mining between 43 and 45 mega hash. I've got one there that mines at nearly 46 mega hash. And I've also got my most efficient 2060 Super on this rig, which is the second one down. It's 44 mega hash at 88 watts, which gives it exactly 500 kilohash per watt efficiency, which is fantastic for a 20 series. So I really like these cards for mining, and I'll look forward to trying other algorithms soon. But at the moment, I just want to mine what's most profitable. If I do want any other coins, I'll just buy it with the Ethereum that I mine. And this is still going to be a good metric because this is going to be the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic. And if Ethereum Classic ends up kicking off again after Ethereum moves to proof of stake, then that's going to be lovely because we won't have to tweak the overclocks of our GPUs. We know that it's going to be a nice efficient algorithm. So we'll see what happens. If we head over to what to mine to see current profitability, I put in 44 mega hash on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic at 100 watts. Power is at 10 cents a kilowatt hour at the moment, so if we calculate that out, you can see we'll be mining about $1.73 in Ethereum a day and around $1.49 after power if we look where Ethereum Classic is. And at the moment Ethereum Classic is around $1.21 a day at around 97 cents after power. Taking a look at pricing on eBay, it's a little bit all over the place at the moment. But I think for these cards, if you can find one for around £300 or around $400 or less, then that's a bargain. And you can also check out places like Facebook Marketplace and other secondhand marketplaces for these. So to conclude, I think the 2060 Super is still a fantastic card for mining the Ethereum algorithm. It's easy to overclock and find the right lock core clocks within the mining software. The card usually only takes one 8-pin connector to power. And at an average of around 44 mega hash at 100 watts, its performance is still competitive. Plus, my 2060 Supers are on average my coolest cards temperature wise. So, overall, I'm still happy to pick up these cards at the right price. Well, that's it for this video. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content or learned something new. Please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.